Welcome to this week's video tutorial, in which I would like to show you how you can optimize your Instant Atlas report for search engines. The content of an Instant Atlas Flash report cannot be found by a search engine, because search engine cannot interpret dynamic flash content. However, there is a way to make the search engines aware of the general content within a dynamic report, and I want to show you how that works with this example report, which you see in front of you. This is a report with data for Nottinghamshire Ward. And from the title, you can already see that the first theme is about benefits. If you take a closer look into the Data Explorer, you can see that the benefits theme contains indicators about benefits allowance and benefit claimants. There are also three other themes, each with several indicators. The ethnicity theme contains data for different racial groups. The theme education gives information about qualifications and this theme other contains some more unclassified social indicators. So the topic of the whole report could be described as social data for Nottinghamshire. If you created this report, you might want it to come up in search engines when somebody searches, for example, for social data Nottinghamshire. There are two general ways to let search engines know what data your report is showing. The first one is to optimize the URL of the report, and the second one is to customize the meta tags in the atlas.html file. First, let's have a look at the URL. The URL in this example doesn't give any information about the content of the report. It is one of the demo reports from the Instant Atlas website, and for its purpose, it doesn't need to be found by search engines. However, if this was a report which you would like to be indexed by the search engines, you might want to use a URL like this one, where you have Nottinghamshire social data statistics as the folder name in which the report sits in. With this URL, the search engine will be able to identify what the report contains so that it can be found and displayed against relevant search queries. The second way to optimize Instant Atlas reports for search engines is, as already mentioned, by using the meta tags inside the HTML code of the atlas.html file. To see this code, I will open the atlas.html file of my report in a text editor. There are three particular types of meta tags that I want to have a closer look at. And these are the title, the description, and the keywords. But before these, we change these values, let's see where this information can be seen. If I go to a search engine, in this case Google, and I search for data visualization software Instant Atlas, the first result that comes up here is the Instant Atlas website. The headline that you see is what you will type into the title tag. Also, when I open this report, you will see the same title here in the browser tab and also in the title bar of the browser window. This title comes up again. You can define this title already when you publish a report in the Instant Atlas Publisher, but if you forgot to do that or you wish to amend it afterwards, here is where you can change it. By default, the report title is Instant Atlas Report, but to make it a bit more descriptive, I want to change it to Nottinghamshire Statistics. Social data reporting. It is good practice not to use words such as and, if, or or, as search engines class these words as stop words. The title should be about 60 characters long so that it does not get truncated in the search engine results view. Underneath the title, you find a short description about the page. This description should, including spaces, not be longer than about 120 characters, also to prevent it from truncating. By default, the atlas.html file contains already some Instant Atlas-related phrases in the description, but I will delete all of these out and type instead, this report covers Nothing I'm sure social statistics mm. 
including benefits ethnicity and education data. The keyword tag is not as important a priority as a title and description tag. However, it is good practice to define this with, say, 5 to 10 keywords maximum. The atlas.html file contains already some Instant Atlas related keywords. And again, I will delete these out and replace them by keywords which describe the data in my report. This can be, for example, Nottinghamshire. Statistics, benefit allowances, so claimants, racial groups, statistics. And education qualifications. These keywords reflect the geography, themes and indicators of the report. After you entered all this information, you can now save your atlas.html file. And if you would publish it to your website, you will help the search engines to crawl and index your report page, making it more relevant to searches related to themes of your report. I hope this video gives you an idea how you can make your own report more search engine friendly. If you require further information on how to manage your report more efficiently with search engines, please contact marketing at instantatlas.com.